only on NBC 15 News, sex assault exams at Meritor Hospital reached an all-time high in 2014. But still, an increasing number of victims are choosing not to report what happened to police. NBC 15's Christy Diamond heard from the program's coordinator about why that may be and why it's concerning. This is our forensic camera with our ring light. From cameras to lights to evidence stickers, Meritor's sexual assault nurse examiners have all the tools needed to document an assault. And this can help us detect findings, either biological material on the body or things that may or may not turn into bruising later. But according to the data from the program called SANE, fewer people are opting to utilize this aspect of their service. More patients are coming in choosing just the medical side of what we do versus the forensic side. The patient can choose whether to send collected evidence to police, but in 2014, more than 11 percent decided not to. That's up from 5 percent in 2010. SANE coordinator Kim Curran says people declined to report for any number of reasons. A lot of individuals um, may have had possibly a negative experience with the police department, whatever one that may be. Um, other people have heard about a friend or a friend of a friend that went through the court process and it may or may not have had a good outcome. The spokesman for UW Police says they saw more people reporting sex assaults in 2014, but he says that reluctance to report is still a concern for them. It means we have more to do. We, we, have, we have more of a dialogue uh, to have with our audience to make sure they know it's okay to come to us and that we can help them. While sane nurses give patients the option whether to report to police, Curran says the upward trend of people not reporting is somewhat troubling when you think about those committing the crime. I believe the latest statistic is they typically commit at least six sexual assaults. So we know these guys are serial offenders. In Madison, Christy Diamond, NBC 15.